Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Elsie. So today we're talking about how I lost 10 kgs and how I've managed to keep it off and also losing but at a slower pace. So before we get into it, don't forget to follow, like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to do all that good stuff. So I did, I lost these 10 kgs without doing uh, OMAD, without doing intermittent fasting, without doing keto, um, and without also doing calorie counting, most of it. So I'm going to tell you how I lost that, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So my first uh, point is I I reduced a lot eating out like I hardly eat out um I eat yes out you can go out socialize but reduce it even ordering in like now that there's COVID we rarely go out but that doesn't mean you can't order fast food so <laughs> you have to reduce or cut down on your fast food eating habits that's our first point our second point my second the point that I did and it worked for me I reduced on soda I was a coke addict whenever I thought about a very cold coke that was sweating because it's it was cold you know in a hot day I used to have a lot of saliva even if, it, if you can uh, see it there's a lot of saliva in my there's still that effect still up to now but I haven't taken soda in a long while I know there's zero sugar there's one calorie whatever coke but at the end of the day that's a lot of chemicals you're putting in your body and I decided to cut it out I do drink once in a long while and that's zero calorie or the one calorie coke that's what I do um if you're craving if okay the third point if i'm craving junk food i will have that junk food if i'm craving pizza i'll have pizza if i'm craving fries i'll have fries because the moment you start obsessing over these cravings the moment you're gonna indulge you're gonna indulge like it will be like a new lifestyle of something so you have to give your body what it's asking for but the key is in moderation just because your body asked for fries today uh, for lunch and then for dinner it asks again you give it to it no but you have to not be that strict what I'm trying to say is be be open <laughs> yeah so yeah my fourth point is no restrictions so that relates to the previous point yeah don't restrict yourself too much it, it's never that serious you know and because you want it to be a lifestyle you can never just be too serious with it you have it you need to make it be something that you're doing even when you're not thinking much about it when you're overthinking about it it's gonna be hard for you so, so it won't be like a lifestyle it will be like a diet and we don't want it to be like a diet so food portioning so here here i have a plate right as you can see it's not that big it's like it's it's not that big all right it, it ain't that big so one use a smaller plate this is small it's only that the edges are a bit um extended so the plate is small so portioning half okay this is half half of your plate yeah it, you, i think you can see it half of your plate should be vegetables all right let's say you're having cabbages or you're having a salad or you're having kale or spinach or mushrooms this is where it should be half of your plate should be vegetable you have the other half which is this half now you you have to divide it into now it's two quarters right so here you put your protein all right and if you usually feel a little bit hungry uh, more than usual you can put it like this a little bit a little bit larger put your protein here your protein will help to keep you full and also now the remaining small square is gonna be your starch and this is where you put the rice the whatever the 
potatoes whatever you're having you put it here so that means you don't have to cut out on the carbs which most people usually say that you cut out so that you lose weight um it's still essential in your diet so don't cut it off instead eat less of it so you won't feel like you're really restricted per se because me i eat everything i eat chapatis i eat i eat fries i eat um potatoes i eat uh, mashed potatoes uh, rice pasta i eat all that also yeah the next point was also okay yeah the other point it's like yes i do i do eat starch in portions as i just explained lots of uh, lots of water and low calorie drinks like tea yes for me i can tell you that i live on drinks like I drink water, I drink coffee, I drink um, cocoa, chocolate, I drink all that. Um, so I've cut, that's why it's like replacing the, the soda that I used to have and the juices that I used to have. I've replaced it with um, teas and, and water, which I think it's very good for me. And also in these teas, I don't put sugar. I quit sugar like two months ago and I feel amazing you know I did it as in to see if I can handle not having tea with sugar and it's been perfect I've gotten used to you know um, coffee without sugar is an acquired taste tea without sugar also an acquired taste you have to get used to it it's not like it's normal for people so like me since I used to be a sweet tooth my only way to get rid of my cravings was to to um, quit the one thing that would always and constantly remind me of the sweet tooth part of me <laughs> and that was the sh sugar in tea so it had to go it had to go <sighs> okay yeah so you have to eat a lot of fiber to fill up like what i'm trying to say is natural fi fiber is good like the one fiber that i have for breakfast is oatmeal everyone okay not everyone but most people love oatmeal one it is uh, natural two it is very healthy three it is very filling four you can do whatever you want with it you can put you can put um, honey in it, you can put sugar in it, you can put fruits in it, you can put berries in it, and you can put anything, in seeds, whatever, whatever you want you can put in it. And it's very flexible and very filling. So eat lots and lots and lots of fiber and it will be good. So the last thing is you have to adjust uh, these things that I'm telling you to be a lifestyle instead of a diet otherwise when you quit as in when you finish your diet let, let's say you you decide okay I'm gonna do this for the next one month I'm gonna put sugar I'm gonna portion I'm gonna use a smaller plate I'm gonna stop drinking all these things yes you've done all that but after two months you've lost let me let's say even you lose uh, let's say 10 like I did and then you go back to your old habits you will gain it all back and that is what we're trying to avoid here so what you're supposed to do is make it more flexible to suit your lifestyle all right so if there's something that needs adjusting if you can't quit sugar reduce you understand what I'm saying if you can't quit starch like saying if you can't quit sugar reduce if you can't quit starch reduce if you can't do all that reduce and it will it will be all good so that's uh the video for today i hope you like it and i hope to hear that uh you've lost weight like i did don't forget to like follow share subscribe comment do all that good stuff and i'll see you again in our next video bye